I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com and today I will be showing you how to create these faux stitching lines using Word. A few weeks ago I did a post on these cute Christmas tag rosettes and I've received a number of emails and comments asking me to do a video on how I created the stitching lines. Well today I'm going to show you how I did this effect and also I'm going to show you how to do faux stitching on a rectangle or square so that you could do that on the outside of your cards. Well, let's go ahead and pause and then I'll move to the computer. Well, I went ahead and opened a Word document and for this project I'm using Microsoft Word version 2010. And the first thing we're going to do is insert a shape. I'm going to click on shapes going to go down to the oval, click on the oval, and then I'm going to draw a circle. Next, I'm going to right click, go to Layout Options and Size. I know that from practicing that my size of my circle needs to be 0.98 and the size on your circle will vary depending on the size of your circle punch. So you can adjust the size here. I'm going to click OK and then we're going to go back and click on the right click on the image. I'm going to go down to Format Shape. For Fill, we're going to want No Fill. Line Color, and here's where you can change the color of your dotted lines or stitching. I'm going to change mine to black and you can, like I said, do any color. Then we're going to go to Line Style and you can leave the width at two points or adjust the width of your stitching to any size that you want. I like it at one point. Then you can go down and click on your dash type. And the one, if you look here, I, I this is the one that I did the tags that I used before and you'll see those in just a moment. But I'm going to go down and use the fourth option and you can use any of these options because I think it looks a little bit more realistic. Then I'm going to click close. And that's how easy it is to do the stitching. Next, I'm going to show you how to insert text. And I did an entire video on using Word to make sentiments. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you can see that. But I'll just do a kind of a quick review here. Go to insert. Then we're going to go over to text box. And then we're going to go down and draw the text box. And I just kind of guess at the size and you can modify it. Next, I'll go back to our home screen. And I want to have, I don't want any spacing. So I'm going to click on no spacing between the two and the from. And I'm going to go ahead and type in two and hit return and then type in from. Now, in my video, I actually would create two text boxes so you can move the to and the from and adjust the spacing. But since it's just a to and a from, I just went ahead and just did one text box to make it a little bit easier. And if you click away, you can now see if you printed that, you'd have that line around the box. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go format shape and we're going to do no fill, line color, doesn't matter because it, we're, we want no line. So it doesn't matter what color, obviously, since there's not going to be a line. So you're going to click no line and then just click close. And it's you can adjust it if you want to move that. If it isn't centered, you just click on it and move it around. It's probably better. And then you can just go ahead and print. Well, the fun thing about this technique is you can use it on any of the shapes in the shape library in Word. And I want to show you how to do it like on an A2 card, a rectangle shape, and you could do this for a sentiment, you can do it on a square, anything. So we're going to go back and do this process, but we're going to do it just a little differently for the rectangle. We're going to insert shapes, we're going to insert a rectangle, and we know that the size of an A2, we know what the size of an A2 card is. So we're going to do, once again, we're going to click on More Layout Options. We're going to go to Size. Then we know that the size is 5.5 for the height. 
and 4.25 for the width and I'm just going to click OK. Then we're going to go in and we're going to format the shape again. No fill and a line color. At this point we're going to just um, change the line color and then line style we're going to do the same thing as we did earlier one point. Now we're not going to change the dash type at this point because this is the outside of our A2 card and we'll do the dashes in just a moment. So we're going to go down, we'll leave that alone and hit close. So now you have your A2 card, the outline. Next I'm going to right click on it, hit copy, right click again and paste and we have an exact duplicate. Now this is where we're going to have the stitching. So you're going to right click and you're going to go through the same process again. We're going to format the shape. Whoops, let, let's go ahead and size it first. We could format it, but let's go to more layout options and go ahead and size it. We'll keep the order the same. Now the outside is 5.5 and by 4.25. Now we want the stitching to be, I want my stitching to be a quarter of an inch different. So I'm going to do this one at 5.25 and the width on this rectangle at 4. If you want your stitching at a half an inch you can change the increments or an eighth of an inch. Click OK. Now we've sized it. Now we're going to go in and format it the exact same way. No fill, line color. Since we copied it we already have the black. Now we're going to go to line style. Since we copied it, we already have the one point. We're going to go down to the dash and I think we'll use the, the larger dash for this project as well and click close and there's your stitching. So you, all you'll do at this point is just move it and center it. I didn't get it quite centered. Let me just use my, I'm just using my arrow key. And there you go. And then we'll, I'll print this out and then we'll get back together and I'll show you how to, how to cut it out. Here is an example of both of the circles that we've just finished making in Word. Of course, you're going to be printing yours on cardstock. You would just tape a piece of cardstock to this copy paper and then run it through your printer. What, when I made the rosettes originally, I'm not sure if you can see the small stitching. Let me see if you can see this one. I used this particular circle here with the, the stitched lines were very close together. And we just finished making this one in Word. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the next step. What I did, of course, when we made this, I created the circles at 0.98, the size. And then I have a one inch circle punch. Now it's just going to depend on the punch that you have. You're going to want to make the circle a little bit smaller so that it fits in your punch. And then all I do is, I'm not sure I'm going to get this perfect while I'm doing filming, but I'll just work with it for a little bit. And I don't have that quite straight. Well, let's go ahead and punch that. And as you can see, whoops, I knocked over my papers. Let me straighten that out. As you can see, it's not totally perfect, but you can just work with that. And here's, a cup, here's one that I did earlier with the close stitching. And that's all I did and then I just used some double stick tape to glue it to the, or tape it to the rosettes. Next, let me show you what we just printed. We just printed, and I don't think all of this is in camera, this rectangle. And of course you're going to print this on cardstock as well. But what I did is I just printed it on cardstock and then I just went around and used my paper cutter to cut along that particular edge. Now this is perfect A2 card size so you could use this and just tape it to your, your base of your card or if you wanted to put it as a layer you could do that. It just gives you some fun applications. You can also do this like I mentioned earlier on any shape in the shapes library in Word. So if you wanted to make this a smaller rectangle, a square, any number of shapes, a circle, oval, you can, you can do that. Well, I would like to, let me bring these in and show you the, the finished product one more time. I would like to thank you for visiting and please visit my blog at paperboutique.blogspot.com or my Facebook page, Paper Boutique with Linda Kaiser, for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.